Well, we won't be we won't learn anything of value standing out here. Let us proceed into the main building and speak with the custodian. Let's go in. Cat, come. Kitty cat, move your buttocks. Music is also really good here. Again, you can't just go into a building with a motorcycle. That's really rude. Please check your manners. Hello. Greetings. We are here to peruse the Archean's vaults. Peruse? You're clearly not gleaners then. Might I ask your affiliation? You belong to the students of Valdician, but is that relevant? I was given to believe that the vaults, those open to the public at least, were open to the public. Ordinarily, yes, that would be the case. At present, however, access, access is restricted. Only persons directly involved in the reorganization efforts are permitted to enter. It's not sussy at all. So if Sephiroth is from Final Fantasy, then who is Sephiroth? What do you... What? I don't understand your... Your sentence, your question. Let us then. I suppose we had better move along to another facility. This building has a lift which connects to the middle tier, yes? Might we at least make use of that? He's like, take the steps. You need it. That service has also been suspended, I'm afraid. For the time being, priority has been given over to the conveyance of inventory. What? So this is as far as we can go? I apologize for the inconvenience. Please come again after our restructuring operation is concluded. By that time, it will be too late. Oh, we're so close getting answers. We need to rethink our approach. Let us step outside for the moment, shall we? I was like, I am leaving. This is bringing me nowhere. Students of Baldesian, huh? Oh, he, he, he's gonna report this. He is 100% gonna report this to his higher-ups. We are at an impasse. As we have no other leads, I should like to pursue this one further. But I doubt that our stone-faced custodian will be swayed by heartfelt pleas. We must seek another means to access the lower levels. It is likely that the people in this area are involved in the restriction in one way or another. If we were to if we were to ingratiate ourselves, they may allow us to accompany them on the lift. Let us ask around surely. Someone is in need of a few strong backs to lighten the load. What you guys doing? Now you look like... Is that his outfit? It is his outfit, isn't it? Did you buy that with money? <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Okay, uh, what am I looking for? I'm speaking to people. Okay, wait. I, I gotta speak to people over here. Like this one here. The new student, talk to me. He stole his jacket. That is not nice, you know? That's not nice. He needs that one. Am I taking the lift? Oh no, we're just students. They won't let us in into the Archean, even though we found. Actually, we have no idea what it is they found. There is no record of such a creature anywhere. But it was wandering around tranquility, and so we thought to donate it to the vaults. It's still alive. Oh, there's a little squeal, don't you think? Anyway, I suppose we'll have to take care of it until the Archean is open again. What is it? Do I wanna know what it is? <gasps> Look at the little frog, oh my god. Look at him go! Tippy tappy tippy tappy tippy tappy tippy tappy tip tap tip tap. No, he disappeared! No! I wanted to follow him! 
Um, who else are we talking to? Hello? Someone around here? No? Mm. Over there. <gasps> There's another frog, wait. Goodbye. Okay. The music is really good. I'm also listening to that while following the frog. What's that? Take you down on the lift with me? Sorry, but not a chance. I've been up and down all day and only now have I finally found a spare moment to rest. I did see a greener fellow heading out the gate there though, shouldering a large pack engaged in some manner of task. Maybe he'll be headed down below after he's done with whatever he is doing. Okay, so I gotta go out and find that guy. Oh, is what I'm hearing out of this. See over there in this building? What do I get up there? Wait. Can I just jump up here? No. This would have been too easy. Hello there? Please don't. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Aaronville again! Hey, buddy! Hey, best friend! Can you take us down with you? Quiet. Frighten it away. Frighten what away? Huh. It's you again. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm in the middle of another task. The cloud king I need to capture is close. Very close. Huh. You wish to help me with this too? Spend your time in unusual ways, my friend. Still... I, that looked so funny because you came flying down here and in the middle of here you just disappeared still two hunters are greatly better than one very well the canal here is a common gathering spot for birds of all kinds but the one i'm after today is the hornbill its feathers are green and its cry a distinctive call single it out and I shoot it with its slightly dark hello hello oh there the effects are sure lift, so I'll lie and wait down by the riverbank to claim our quarry. Be sure to hit the right one. You're mining? Oh god, I hated mining. Okay. Search your surroundings for the hornbill. You may move the camera as well. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's that one. Oh. Hello? There we go. I'm really bad. You have said it. But it did caw caw! It did caw caw! Didn't it do the caw caw? Did it do the wrong caw caw? Oh, I didn't read that it's a green bird. <laughs> I just read that it's doing the caw caw. I didn't read that it's also green. Oh god. That's this one. Look. Look, that's not on me. The instructions were very unclear, okay? Okay? The instructions very unclear. It's not just because I just read half of the instructions. <laughs> Look, we got the right bird. Nicely okay. Done. Let me trust this one enough, and I'll make my way over to you. I like his voice. 
I didn't think he's a bigger character, but I like that. There you are. Any new revelations? I got a bird. Do you want a bird? So you met with that gleaner again, this time to capture a hornbill. Mm-hmm. I understand catching and bringing in creatures <coughs> from the outside, but what's the point of chasing after ones already here? Oh, it's a simple thing, really. Occasionally, we remove specimens no longer needed for study, or those we've had difficulty raising. But we can't simply turn them loose. Safely returning such creatures to their native habitats is another facet of a cleaner's duties. But not in this case, I'm afraid. I've been asked to bring the bird below. But what do you mean below? Below the ground? Or... The restricted section in the lower levels of Labyrinthos. Open only to a select few researchers handpicked by the forum. This forum is so sussy. Absolutely. Why is nobody else picking up in Shalai and that their fucking forum is fucking sussy? The projects down there are the subject of rumor and hearsay. Forbidden magics. Advanced technologies that can never be allowed to fall into outside hands. Even Archons are not privy to the truth. Those who are, the researchers involved in this secretive work, are not permitted to walk freely in the city, and are what? instead required to live in isolated quarters. Damn. What could a facility subject to such strict security protocols possibly need with a hornbill? An, an experiment? Most likely. Possibly. I wasn't afforded an explanation. But judging yeah, by too. the requisition list given to me and my colleagues, I doubt it's for any kind of advanced research. I'd be more inclined to believe we were making preparations to migrate to the south. Mericidio, thereabouts. What? Why would you say that? Much of the flora and fauna we were asked to procure could serve as reliable sources of sustenance. They're comparatively hardy species, too. Able to endure harsh climates. And among them are specimens known to be effective in improving soil quality and purifying water. You do be a smart one. Way, migration does sound like a reasonable assumption. That's all it is, though. An assumption. Through our tasks, we gleaners glimpse only bits and pieces of the forum's plans. Our prime concern is that our requisitions, be they living or otherwise, are properly preserved for the knowledge of future generations. Now, I really must be going. I regret that I cannot reward you as you deserve. Perhaps you might reward us after a fashion then. It is imperative that we reach the lower levels. And seeing as you are already set to descend with your assigned cargo... He didn't scam us, to be fair. We offered help. Assistance. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Once the animals have been prepared for transport, we sent them down separately via the lift. I will, of course, follow after to make my report, but I can hardly pass you off as porters when there's nothing left to carry. Hmm. Indeed. Pray forget I said anything. How do you feel about climbing? If you've strength and the courage to brave it, then there is another way down. Well, well, well. Say that again. Or do you mean climbing down? Because when I hear climbing, it's usually like you climb somewhere up. And I was just like, if I want to go down, why would I climb up? But you can also technically just climb something down. It's just usually not something you do. This path leads to the 33rd facet. A mine shaft excavated during one of our expansions of Labyrinthos. Okay. 
While I cannot guarantee that the passage is safe to traverse, wow. it should provide access to the meteor circuit below. I never even knew such a place existed. Thank you. This is the perfect solution. He just said he isn't sure if it is secure. I, I would hardly say that's a perfect solution to our issue. You're quite welcome. But consider yourselves warned. If the going proves too treacherous, you'd do well to turn back. <laughs> oh, what's up today? I'm I bid sorry. You a good day. Adventure! Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, we call climbing something down on climbing here. Don't you Let's know, Tama? Let's go and take a look at this mine shaft. There is on climbing. There is. We're on climbing this mountain now. Why is this so grainy sometimes? What about using an elevator? I don't think we are not allowed to use the elevator right now. That is our issue. We are not allowed to use the elevator. Oh. I always think I'm flying because like I'm in the air, but I'm not flying yet. I, I need to go the regular way. Flying is to people who have done their quests. That is indeed true. I have not done them yet. Tama. Tama. This must be it. The entrance to the mine shop. The same, but I hear something moving the thin. Creatures home there by the researchers, you think? Well, slavering beasts aside, we will need to watch our footing. We should tighten our straps and such before we continue. <gasps> Level up! Let's go. Assuming everyone's tightening the straps and check their gear, then I say we head on. Give the terrain a hand, though. It might be wise to leave some distance at Fina's. We don't want to be stumbling over each other if it comes to a fight. Take it slow, and don't forget to check our surroundings from time to time. We can meet up again at the other end of the tunnel. Wait, 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 wait. your solution to... Oh, there are beasts in there is... Let's split up. Instead of... Let's keep together and fight it together. Are you for real? Okay, we're good at this. We're just gonna like hug the wall and gonna ignore the enemies. You can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me, you cannot see me. I am invisible. Me. I mean, I'm standing in the middle of... Yeah, that is very smart of me. I'm like, is it gonna do something? Hi there. It's not really doing anything, is it? Okay, where are we going? This way. This way. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I have this here, and this here, and this here, and I should pay a tiny bit of attention of where I'm walking, over there. And uh, this is gonna get into my chest. We have some food and oopsie. Hello. Did 
Can you get her here, please? Thank you. You're being very, very nice. That didn't hit you guys, that is. There we go. This. And this. I, I know, I know, I know that they give me current level here. I just did not want to open them while I was walking. <laughs> that was all. I did not want to open them right the way when I was walking. I wanted to like... Get a tiny bit of like order back into my thing here. So... That means we'll take this and this and I have food over here and... Oopsie. Where are we going? Over there? Okay, uh, oh, more food. I have so much food. I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna take a look at that at a later point. So, we kind of organize again. Hi, Frida! Welcome! How are you doing? So, we're outside of the mines. We did it! Everyone seems to have made it through without incident. Nothing of consequence, at least. And, as promised, the tunnel has delivered us into the medi medial circuit. As I recall, this here is where they keep a wide variety of samples for agriculture production. If Arabelle's assumption holds true, that specimens are being collected in preparations for a great migration, then we should see evidence of such plans in this area of research projects. Let's follow the path to the nearest farming facility and see what we see. We didn't do the unclimbing though, we literally just went through a mine. Uh, we gotta go there. Let me actually just fly. I paid a lot of money for this one, so uh, we're gonna use it. <laughs> we, we gotta use that one now. Oh my god, they are adorable. Look at these little things. <gasps> they are so cute. They are absolutely adorable. Oh. These <laughs> these grapes look very very weird. <laughs> that's that's not how grapes usually look. Uh-huh. Now I know where we are. This is Mariel Agronomics. Labyrinthus is host to a wide variety of vegetation, which allows us to conduct studies on cultivation methods utilizing foreign land. And there is this facility which coordinates and oversees those efforts. The fruits of their research go to feed the Labyrinthus colleagues, or so I hear. More notable successes might make it to the Agora. It's so exotic you'd be hard pressed to guess their origin, let alone how they might taste. Indeed, mystery vegetables without a name, only a list of nutritional benefits scribbled on a card. <laughs> I see no gleaners here, but yet these workers seem to share that same sense of urgency. It's possible they know something of the forum's plans and their underlying motivations worth looking into, wouldn't you say? See what you can coax from the workers. The rest of us will do the same or cast about there for useful cl clues. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So much information gathering. So. Who wants to talk to me? That's a lot of pump. I love pumpkins. Pumpkins are so good. Jepka. Jepka, my dude, talk to me. Hi. Oh, hello there. We weren't expecting visitors. Not with use of the lift being restricted. How did you make it down here anyways? Check out the grapes. I, I just dashed on the grapes when we saw them. I can go there again and, and check them out. 
The mind shift, you say? Well, you are a majority of soul than I. Under normal circumstances, I'd reward such tenacity, tenacity with a guided tour of the field. But I'm afraid the forum has us filling all this list of mom long. The severe detailed requests, literal vagal loads of crop samples, and all the any time to put them together. When I first heard of this grand reorganization, I assumed we would be shuffling around old stock to make room for the new. Then came the orders for ridiculous quantities of seeds we've already freefully researched. Passing strange, huh? I preserved for an explanation and was met with vague assurance that all would be revealed in due course. Not the most satisfying answer. Okay, where are the grapes? Um, over there. I just shit it on the grapes. Are they, are, do they look... Wait. Okay, there are two people. That's okay. Let's inspect the grapes. Do they look as bad up close? This is not how grapes are supposed to look. What the fuck is this? What the hell? <laughs> it, it is a cylindrical shape that literally just plastered on a PNG. That's what they did here. <laughs> they didn't even try to make grapes. They used to be worse? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean they used to be even worse? I wouldn't say this is good. Okay, wait. Uh, beautiful grapes. Beautiful grapes. Would eat them. 10 out of 10. Okay. What crops are we raising? Well, as you can see, this one is a var variety of a grape. What variety of a grape is it? A cylindrical shaped grape? Only it's a good source of sunlight to grow, and the conditions here are nothing short of perfect. Hardly surprising given that it's native to a particular local in the very place upon which Labyrinthus was modeled, a region in the south of Ilzebar. It boasts remarkable habit and diversity, allowing for myriad flora and fauna to thrive. Tilly peaks in the north give way to swaths of temperate plain, which in turn transitions into a hard, humid coastline. Such bountiful territory is ever contested, as you might expect used to be called Corvus before the Imperial renamed it to Locus Ammonius. The forum sighed not as a prize, however, but as a research ideal environment, one whose climates were strove to recreate within the confines of Labyrinthus. It's nice provided a rich foundation for countless experiments in cultivation. So-called grape chunk, yeah. Please, please, please show me that OG grape. We, we, oh, you're not waving, it's just warm. <sighs> Do I have a lot to be taken down below? More than I can carry and then some. Most of our stock is sent off via the cargo lift, but some has been armored for aerial transport. And it's a stack of crepes, crates atop that hill over there. God, hauling the lot up that slope was a job and a half. Okay, so we're going up there is what I'm reading out of this. Hello. I, I, I'm not gonna tell you what I thought I saw. Ishala, hi. The sex of crates in the hill is going below. That sounds promising. I'll gather the others and join you there. Okay. Oh my god. That thing is called a stray tomato. Look how angry that looks. Hi, Mio. Give me... Wait, wait. Straight tomato. Look at that angry face. No, I don't want to fight you. I wanted to look at you. Look at that angry face. Look at it. Okay, you want to fight? I'll fight you. Don't worry. Oh, God. Tomato juice sounds terrible. I just wanted to look at your face and now look at me needing to beat you up. Terrible. Okay, anyways. I think we need to go up here. Oh, the audience! Oh, the 
onion looks very sad. Look at the onion. Cory Corrigan? I don't know what a Corrigan is. But it's so cute. Look at it. It's staring into your soul. All the way into your soul. I love it. You posted a sus grave into Discord? Let me see. Why did you mark it as... Oh my god. How... How... How did they make that look worse? <gasps> and then you have like the leaves next to them that's actually really pretty. Wait. I can show you guys. Give me a second. Let me... Hello? Did I not put it in? I cannot show you. I can show you by doing this. Wait. That's not working. Here. Look at these. <laughs> Look at these grapes. Look at these age quality gerbs. Aren't they amazing? Beautiful, beautiful grapes. Okay. Um, we have to go all the way up. To be fair, they don't look that much that much better right now. I'll be completely honest with you. They, they did a tiny bit better of a cylindrical shape, but not that much. The labels on these crates tell the story of their contents. Bundles of common seeds and saplings, accompanied by sheaves of reports. It is still a meme. The first thing I told you guys when we had that costume was the grapes. They now have like three more sides to them, yeah. Hard to look away, oh. isn't it? But they're more than pretty flowers. Heart blooms are attuned to ambient emotion. <laughs> oh my god, clouds, bottles, and five of the seven, and the door had more texture to it than the grapes you don't seem convinced but believe me it's true they give me this nearby this ashen grey for instance it mirrors the anxiety and urgency of those working nearby as they rush to fulfill sudden orders intense feelings like those Spur the petals to change color. Bright glowing hues in the presence of joy. Dark subdued shades for frustration or despair. So, they are mood rings. Yet even with the collected wisdom of Charlian at our disposal, we've yet to identify the underlying principle of this empathic effect. It's mood rings, as flowers. And there are other mysteries besides. Although the flower is extraordinarily long-lived, its low reproductive rate has made it difficult to find younger populations growing in the wild. With too few sightings to map its distribution, and no closely related species to track, we've been unable to pinpoint its land of origin. And to further complicate matters, Every culture, even dimly aware of its existence, has given it a different name and mythos. Our attempts to study it via the historical record have been an exercise in frustration. As an avid botanist myself, I should one day like to unravel the heart bloom secrets. But I'm afraid other duties must take precedence. 
I will leave you to your thoughts. Oh, it is on the store? It's really pretty flower. Oh, it doesn't change colors? Have you learned aught of interest? Maybe you just have no feelings. Maybe the flower can't change its colors because you are just an empty husk. Did you ever thought about that? A flower that reacts to one's feelings. Strange. I must say, I have never heard of such a thing. Okay. This is all very fascinating, but as it stands, we fail to gain any significant insight into the forum's undertaking. Indeed. While there is certainly enough activity to support Erinville's supposition that her priority has been placed on improving food production, unfortunately for our investigation, these workers were never informed as to how their duties serve the master plan. Why would they? They're lowly workers. <sighs> If only we could interrogate the forum members directly. Isn't that the entrance to the Archaean? Oh! Oh look, who's there? It's a bit sussy, is always where we yeah. are, isn't it now? I think that's Erinville. A little difficult to tell from here, but, but I think you're right. He did say he was coming down to make his report. Erinville receives his orders from the Forum. Would it not follow, then, that the superior to whom he reports is a Forum member? Or at least a close associate? Are we gonna sneak up on you him now? you mean to eavesdrop on their conversation? <laughs> what of the risks? Ours alone to bear. We won't interfere with Erinville's work, nor will he be implicated as an accomplice. If you're not comfortable taking part, I can do this alone. Nay. I said myself that I wished to know Father's intentions. And no answers will be forthcoming should we simply ask nicely. That is true, because nobody actually answers to us. We can apologize later, should it come to it. Right now, we need every crumb of information we can get our hands on. Consequences be damned. It might be best if you came along as well. In fact, we should all... Yes? Oh, she is... She's, she's very... into the flowers. Are you gonna change colors? Hmm? What is up with oh, her? Yes, that certainly sounds like a plan. So, so, something is going on with her. I'm glad you agree. I'm not sure if I'm liking what's going on with her. Quickly, Erinville is on the move. We need to get closer before we lose him. Almost. I can almost reach you. Hmm. I'm thinking of who she can mean. And I'm not sure. Is Krill still fooling on Vel? I've never seen her so distracted. Keep an eye on her, but keep moving too. We cannot let our car slip away. Trying to phone home. 